Hey everyone, what's going on? Joey here, and I hope that your day is fantastic so far. Today, we're going to do yet another recap of all the construction projects taking place in all of the Wildwoods. It's funny because I do this every single month, and every single month, there's another project that comes on, or there's something that I left off, and you guys keep giving me feedback to check out more things, and so today we're adding a lot more, and a lot has happened since our update one month ago. Now, before we get started, make sure you subscribe, you turn on notifications, and you give this video a thumbs up. Let's get started. So we're gonna start off with a project that we haven't talked about in a while because not too much work has taken place. I think the last time we talked about at least the wall repair here at the seawall was when, <laughs> unfortunately, one of the barges got loose and got stuck on the beach in North Wildwood. But since then, the uh, Army Corp has been working extremely hard to fix this wall. For those who have no idea what happened here, a while ago, unfortunately, the wall had collapsed and all the rocks kind of fell down, making this unsafe, really not safe at all. And so for the past few months, they've been loading in all these rocks and things onto the path over here. You can't really see what it looks like from here because they have all the fencing up, but I have the drone with me. Where's it at? It's right there. So uh, let's put the drone in the sky. Here we go. you can see all the work they've done so far they're doing a great job hopefully in a few months it'll be all done and removed and then we can walk over there anyway time for our next project here we go now i'm currently at the lighthouse if you actually come this way you'll notice that there's been cones placed out a couple over here and around the corner there's a few things taking place which i'm going to do a full video in length kind of talking about just because it's kind of extensive and to understand what they're doing and why they're doing it it takes a little thought but anyway while we're here I'll explain it to you in just a little detail ultimately this entire area needs a little work whether it's the woodwork down here which has holes in them or some invasive plants that are growing over here the city wants to go ahead and rehab the entire grounds of the lighthouse now the grounds haven't been touched I want to say since 2000 and maybe 18 2019 so it is time for a nice little refurbishment and so ultimately all of this it's not like it's things are all getting completely redone they're pretty much just ripping out invasive species and um, according to the few things I've read online you know repairing a few things like for example some of these are kind of stuck under here there's wood let me flip the camera around for you the wood plaques themselves have gone to a point to where you could potentially trip on them and they're deteriorating so much. Here, let me show you. I mean, you can see here, this wood needs to be replaced. Some of them are like hollow in the middle, so when you step on them, here's another great example. Someone could totally trip on here. So they're gonna be trying to fix all of these. Anyway, stay tuned for a longer video talking about all this stuff. But anyway, let's go. And we're going to drive down through the Wildwood, through North Wildwood to a couple properties, but just a few mentions, because I'm not gonna stop there because there's nothing you can see from the outside. But Currens and the Inlet have been working like crazy on the inside, redoing it. We do have articles on the Inlet and what it's gonna look like, so I'll make sure to link them below. But Currens right now, they literally are just putting in a brand new floor. So nothing really kind of crazy to show you. But anyway, let's head down. Now I'm standing in what used to be Piro's. It's kind of weird. I'm actually standing in the dining room. What was the, the what was the dining room? It's so bizarre. It's weird. I, I and this thing was just standing here. Uh, well they, they were approved for the three houses, so they're going to start building them very shortly. They haven't ran any boxes yet, so it doesn't look like it's going to start within the next week and a half, but I still can't get over it. It's just very bizarre to me, but the only thing that's left over is the sidewalk. Well, technically, you can't rip this up. It's, it's a public sidewalk, but it's just bizarre. Walk in here, bar there, restaurant there. Oh, seeing Marie welcoming you in. Anyway, let's continue on. We're back at the ocean side, which 
don't know if too much has happened. The lip is on there. They're putting on, it looks like, siding, new roofing, and the windows are all incomplete. So, I mean, not too much as an, for an update, but a lot of progress though. And now I'm on the Wildwood Boardwalk on the North Wildwood side right here on 18th Street because there is a wall of sand. Maybe it doesn't look too crazy from over here, but <laughs> you can't really walk over there and so that's why I kind of have the drone with me. But it literally is a, if I had to guess, 15 foot tall, maybe higher wall of sand. Because they started the replenish project, one of the steps, just like last year's, is you gather all the sand in a few different areas and once all the crazy March and April storms kind of roll through, you then take this stuff and you bring it all the way down to 3rd Avenue and all the way to about 14th and 15th Street. And I have the drone with me to put in the sky just so you could see how tall this stuff is. Like it's insane looking. Um, so I'm going to first show you what it looks like right now and then get the drone in the sky. Once again, I don't know how video can really show off how tall this is. I mean, imagine here walking up the ramp, going down the ramp, and boom, you're smacked with this wall. <laughs> it's, it's very bizarre, but um, let's get the drone in the sky. We're heading to another location. It looks like the drone's done for today because it's a little too windy, but um, let's continue on. And we're outside the surf, what well, used to be the surf motel, not surf condos. There's no name for it just yet, but it's kind of what we're calling it. Since our last update, they built this entire extension. All remember, they had to knock down the original one because the foundation was cracked. And um, anyway, today they're putting up siding and roofing. Uh, let's continue. Now we're outside what used to be St. Anne's and of course there's school in the background. St. Anne's they knocked down not too long ago, a little bit left over, just to kind of like the foundation of it all. Now on Monday, March 1st, the Planning and Zoning Board did approve this project for 38 dwellings. Unfortunately, they never filed a CAFR report which means they have to wait until the Department of Environmental Protection comes down and does all these different kinds of routine checks and things, which could take a while. So stay tuned for this one. Let's continue down just a little bit down the road that way. Now I'm outside the Fairview with Second Street Annie's and empty bottles. And unfortunately, this project too is put on hold because BG Capital needs to get that CAFA report. So we might wait a little bit longer for this one to get started. So this might be standing for just a little bit longer. Just looking in the backyard, they already demoed pretty much the entire inside of the building. I can zoom in for you. Uh, don't need the drone in the sky because we already did a video about it. But everything that could be ripped out is ripped out already. So I think you're just waiting to get the final approval to demo and the final approval on the physical building before they go ahead and continue on. Now remember, the folks that are also doing the property down there at St. Anne's, same people doing this one, just completely different style. This is for J1 students, a bar, and maybe restaurant, and down there, the 38 dwellings. Now, what's funny is on the exact opposite side of the block is where the Stardust is, and we do have, finally, the blueprints for this building. I'm, by now, I've done an article on it. This is going to be a 96 hotel room unit building that's going to be a choice hotel in the style of the Comfort Inn and Suites. And let me quickly show you where this hotel is going to be standing. Here's the Stardust, the empty parking lot. The blueprints almost make it look like it ends right, right somewhere over there. And of course, Colleen's, it's already being gutted. There was a fire in there. Anything that could be salvaged is gone already. It's definitely in the very early phases for any kind of approval. I think it was only read once or twice and there could be more tweaks to it. So uh, I guess stay with me on that story. We'll find out soon. Now, while I'm standing here, I at least can give you some updates about a few other projects. Uh, that way you don't have to actually drive to them. I know like right now, Adventure Pier stuff, they haven't started on it yet. I don't know when they're gonna start on it if they start on it this year because they haven't really announced anything since then. On top of that, a few other projects that we're probably going to touch on very gently 
We do know the Mark One and the Lampier uh, were both sold to the same family who also owns the Singapore, which they're working on right now, which I'll show you in a little bit. Uh, those are two projects that, a few projects that we're gonna do a video for you on, I don't know when. We're definitely gonna go ahead and walk through some of those properties and at least show you, because it's pretty cool when you see like these oceanfront motels getting renovations, because you know, those motels have been around since 64, 65. So when you see something like that, you know, get rebuilt, you want to save it for history because that's now their second or third renov third renovation on that one building. I, well, I don't know if I'm the only one who thinks like this, but it's like the first generation of it. That's one cool history, and then another generation is another cool history because it's all based off of what is cool in that time. And you know, 20, 30 years on the line, there'll be another renovation on it, and they can go back and see what that used to look like. Once again, I'm all about preserving history with the video. Anyway, let's continue on. Since our last update on the new pump house and the pipes on Ocean Avenue, not too much has changed. They're still doing a lot of work. It should be done temporarily in a few months. The demolition of the Riggins, which is turning into Sinclair's, has not started yet. I mean, they fenced things off. They gutted a few of the buildings, but nothing has taken place yet. And that corner lot, a part of it was sold off to the county to make a better right-hand turn to head up Rio Grande. And besides that, nothing much has happened yet. Stay tuned for this one. We're outside the Pan American that's doing a lot of work in the front. They took down the canopy, everything. They put a new front, and it looks like a new front. I'm not too sure, I haven't seen the blueprints yet, but it's gonna be really nice once it's done. We're outside the library slash, I know they're calling it the living room, just to see if there's any update on that. There's some wood on the other side, but I don't really see anything going on inside. So uh, let's continue on. We're back and at the Ocean, Ocean Holiday, Holiday and I'm told in about a month and a half, and they'll be able nope, to start this project again. I just saw the blueprints, I don't want to spoil anything. Notice, it's going to be so amazing, that's all I can we'll say. Continue. Right now we're actually passing by Sunrise Park, which we also did a video on on this channel not too long ago. And since then, not really much has been done. They started laying down some of like the, the rubber, but that's really about it. When it's kind of cold and snowy out, can't really do too much out there. Anyway, you can see we're actually passing it right now. Now we're outside the Singapore, which I don't know what its new name is going to be. Since our last update, they added a ton of work up here. The whole lip is brand new. They're putting a new roof on, adding an extension over here. There's actually, there's a ton of work going on. Uh, the permits still don't show what is actually happening. I mean, the permit just showed that they were demoing some stuff and then just fixing up the current things. It's, I mean, that's pretty much what they're doing. You can see that new lip, I don't know if that's a brand new roof. They haven't done anything over here, but let's walk to the other side. Here's some of the, some of the stuff they knocked out not too long ago. This whole wall is gone. I'm unsure what this is here. It says driftwood on it. So I'm not sure what that is, but over here you can see the new windows kind of hanging out new roof up here yeah they're knocking this out quickly looks good so far unfortunately not too much left of the original motel I mean look the top section is completely gone but you can see they're building this up which this had never connected before so this is new looks like they're adding in an elevator and we're gonna visit one more spot because I haven't been to Diamond Beach in a while, so here we go. And now we're at our final property, the Icona Diamond Beach, because this thing, my goodness, <laughs> the amount of work that's going into it is absolutely amazing. Now we did get a tour inside, so I grabbed a couple of photos for you guys, but from the outside, let me show you what's going on. So they already started on building up the sixth floor. Up here you can see the post and then they'll go ahead and put the firewall in. They'll be building up there and on top of here. Now they're keeping this pool. Originally they had an infinity pool and a deck so that's no longer there but they're keeping this and one thing is is that while yes they're adding another floor they're actually redoing the entire building. That's right. They have ripped down every hallway, every light bulb, every room has been completely gutted to bring you amazing experiences. Now they just were rated the number one resort pretty much everywhere. And <laughs> the way I look at it is 
they want to go ahead and just keep raising the bar, raising it and raising it. Even though they were listed as number one, they're like, how can we make it even better? Well, they're adding a banquet on top here with another part of a restaurant, a whole section for when you're getting married here. There's rooms where you can go ahead and get your hair done and get ready for the wedding, which is going to be really, really awesome, especially because, I don't know if you know this, besides them doing weddings, they do the weddings right on the beach, like literally right over here. They put a whole archway up with palm trees. It is absolutely amazing. Remember, they're the ones who also own the Mahalo, which is taking place at the Ocean Holiday, which we saw the blueprints, the new updated ones. Oh my gosh, it's gonna have a lazy river in it. It's amazing. I, it, it's gonna be so cool. I, I honestly can't wait until they actually start building up on it, which should be not too long from now. But anyway, thank you so much for joining me if you haven't done so yet. Please subscribe, turn on notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. If you want to go ahead and support our channel, you can actually be a patron on Patreon where you get some cool features and some cool little like free things from time to time and discounts on our merchandise and you get your name listed at the end of the video like what's going to happen right now. Anyway, I'm Joey as always. I'll see you in the beach. See you later. Bye.